What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd, not the single guy. What we're gonna talk about today is how to get a girl to text you first. I get a lot of questions from guys that ask me this all the time. Hey Lloyd, why am I always the one to initiate? Why do I always have to be texting her? How can I get her to text me? Okay, so I'm gonna give you actually three ways that you can get a girl to text you first. But in general, you guys, if you started the conversation, if you got her phone number, if you're trying to ask her out, you're probably gonna be the one that starts the conversations most of the time at the beginning. But if she is never uh, starting conversations with you, then here are some things that you can do. Okay, thing number one, super simple, don't text her. <laughs> if you wanna see if she texts you first, try not texting her for a little bit of time. If you're blowing up her phone all the time and you're sending her like things every single day, then she doesn't have to, have to text you first and she's probably waiting for you to text her, okay? So if you don't text her for a little bit, this might work, but it also might not, <laughs> okay? So this is not just a technique for manipulation, uh, this is actually gonna, gonna give you some real things that will make her want to text you more. So thing two is going to be to share things about your life that are cool, fun, and interesting, all right? If you're sharing things about your life that are fun and interesting, maybe you tell her, hey, I'm actually going skydiving on Friday, then after that, we're gonna go at brunch at this new place that it just opened. They make some really great, uh, some, some of the best omelets in Texas, I don't know. She hears about this, she's probably gonna text me later, hey, how is the skydiving? Like, she's thinking about, she knows that I'm doing cool stuff, and so now she's starting to think about the cool things that I'm doing, she wants to know about them. So share stuff about things that are going on with your life. Share things that you're doing uh, that can be seen as fun. You can post them on your stories. There's a lot of things that you can do to motivate women to contact you. I find that actually posting on stories can be very effective if you like using social media. If you don't like using social media, just get in the habit of sharing what you're doing with people, uh, and then more people are gonna be encouraged to like check in on with you and ask how that was. And the other thing too is if you want people to check on you and ask how you're doing, you should start by asking how their thing went, okay? And then you can kind of get into that mode. In fact, that brings me to tip number three, which is just have normal conversations. A big reason why women don't text men is because they are nervous about what their response is gonna be or if they ignore them. Women do not like to be the one to make the first move. And if you're too scared to do that or if you're doing it in a way that intimidates her, for instance, if you're always sending her crazy things or if you're, there always has to be a super uh, dedicated point to your text message, then she probably isn't gonna be as, she probably isn't gonna feel as free to just text you about whatever. Which truthfully is what a lot of women when they're texting each other is about. Like it's not usually about anything important, it's just something that they wanna connect with about somebody. So I do that, sometimes I'll send something random, sometimes I'll send something silly or just something normal asking about how her day's going. I know it's not gonna be like the super attraction building text message that a lot of you guys are looking for, but that's what I do, that's what I talk about all the time. What it is building is it's building comfort and it's encouraging her to share with me things that are going about her day. Sometimes I'll just be like, yeah, today I literally did nothing and just watched four episodes of this new Netflix show, like what did you get up to, okay? If she did nothing and was just watching Netflix for a little bit, then she's more encouraged to talk to me, okay? So a lot of times women aren't the crazy, amazing creatures that we make them out to be. They're just normal human beings that wanna be able to connect with another person. So if you make your conversations a little bit more normal, you share those things with that person, and you just have conversations that don't have that much pressure on them, then chances are she's gonna be willing to share that information with you and more encouraged to text you. So the three things again, number one, try not texting for a little bit. Two, share things that you're doing in your life uh, to like, encourage her to respond and three just be a normal person man and, and connect with her uh, and really share the things in your life i if you give somebody space to open up and come to you they will come to you but if you're chasing them all the time and trying to make it into some like big thing or trying to prove yourself to somebody, um, well, then they're just gonna sit there and be a spectator, okay? So that's the biggest lesson that I would give for you for this is uh, you know, try and put yourself less in the, uh, the, the showman uh, and more of a connection to a human to human. Cool, all right you guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you made it then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested, get coached by me or you want more about my uh, live training programs and things like that, there's forms down below. I'd recommend that you just download my free ebook on texting. Um, it talks all about how to do this. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you there. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.